Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at some more live action Little Mermaid dolls and we have Ariel today. I found both of these dolls at Target for $14.99 a piece. I think they say the same thing, Little Mermaid reimagines the beloved story of Ariel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, so the back of the box isn't very like crazy. Here's the barcode and here's the barcode on this. Yeah, these are just kind of like informational back of the boxes. This one says Ariel on land, Ariel humana, and then mermaid Ariel. So yeah, I'm very excited to have these. And I also have a made to move body match for her that I will show you once we get her out of the box. But you know, before we do that, as always, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content and follow my socials. And without further ado, let's get him out. There's, there's the face, there's the head. So since our dolls don't come with anything, we get to jump right into them. They do have the same head, so you can see the same makeup, a pink lip with like a light blue eyeshadow on the lid and smoked out with a darker brown. They both have the signature mole that Miss Hallie has, and they look just like her if you ask me. I think they did a really great job on this sculpt, better than other companies. Yeah, she's just so pretty. Just, like, just look at this doll. Gorgeous. Being that they have the same head, they both have the same hair as well. The top half is rooted with these little twists that do have a texture that is similar to yarn, but I don't think they're actually made with yarn. I have seen some people have like issues with them falling out, so I would be careful on with tugging them. I'm not having any issues myself, but just to be safe. And then the rest of her hair feels like saran to me, and it's like this... It's red tinted. I don't know. It's like an auburny color. It's very pretty. It's more of a natural kind of red than a non-natural fire hydrant sort of red. You know, just like Hallie has in real life. Or has for the movie in real life. Not... You, you know what I mean. The mermaid doll does feature a sculpted top. It starts with a purple gradient into the more teal gradient and there is ruffled sculpts as well or ruffles on the sculpt as well that continues in the back but the gradient does not continue into the back the tail is also sculpted the singular like the single pack version the 14 dollars one does not have the joint in the middle but the ones in the sister pack do it's really cool the way they managed to do this sculpt so there's the you know scale sculpted in of course but this part is printed onto the plastic and it has this really cool like detailing going on that does not go on or continue in the back unfortunately but then they also printed it on top of this tail this really cool pattern and i love the translucent part of the fin and how it fans out i really prefer this tail to any of the other tails and so i need to find a way to transfer <laughs> this bottom to like one of the ones with the joints i don't know i'm gonna have to figure it out but my dream ariel doll is gonna be like a mix match of like all of them so stay tuned for that video <laughs> anyways let's swim on to our next friend here is the dress for the dressed version it's made of like a soft fabric kind of kind of silky feeling but not like it's not silk obviously but it feels really nice i love the fabric they use too it's very like it's very flowy, like great, great stuff here. So we have some ruffles over here on the collar. We have a mesh sleeve. There's a corset sewn into the middle of the dress that is, it doesn't really continue into the back because the back is just full of the same fabric that the corset part has, which is this like, you know, the standard satin that they use. You see all the texture on the skirt here doesn't look like it's hemmed though so that's a little concerning but I do really love the movement on it still just it feels nice it feels good to touch and that is a plus look at her hair go this part of your world rock version and then we have her little shoes here they're just a pair of like brown sandals it's just a little little detailings on the air on the sculpt it's you know they're, they're sandals not much to write home about but so that was our two dolls, but if you remember at the beginning of the video, I did say that we have a made-to-move body match for the land version of Ariel, and here she is. Hi, hi, hello. 
So this is the Barbie Looks Model 18 or something like that. I think maybe it was 18. I'm not sure. It's the new version. It's the color block brunette with the Carl face sculpt. This is a petite made to move. So the dress should fit better than it does on a standard Barbie because we did a little I did a little body swap on Vanessa and you can't just throw her on a fashionista body unfortunately but this should work here are these skins yeah this should this, yeah definitely all right your time has come for what to lip sync for your life curl lip sync I'm just kidding I'm just gonna take your head or your body. Huh? It'll all make sense in a minute, sweetie. It's fine. Wow. Something I find interesting with the, like, collector Barbies is that they use this head, like, this joint instead of the other one. Uh, like, the regular made to me was used. I don't really get that. This one's much easier to get heads off of, so too bad this isn't the standard. But yeah. <laughs> so as anticipated this body is a pretty good match not a hundred percent perfect but even this head like on the body wasn't a hundred percent perfect so that's just kind of a Mattel thing I think uh but yeah we look good the dress is a little tight because the Disney princess body isn't it? as it's a little smaller it's just a little bit smaller than a Barbie body and the shoes didn't fit, so we have these shoes that also don't fit, but are a little more believable. They also fit the vibe. They're not, uh, flats, but I mean, yeah, like, I'm not mad at it. I think I might be able to, like, pop a creatable world foot in on her and then, like, have these shoes on, but I'm not that concerned, honestly. I'll probably just keep the little heels on, and <laughs> I'm happy that the sleeves fit because that was my biggest thing putting Vanessa on like a fashionista body or not a fashionista it was a divergent body like the the dress the sleeves did not work not work at all but anyways that is going to wrap up our review so <laughs> if you enjoyed as always make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow my socials and I'll see you guys next time bye bye Oh, and a disclaimer, no violence was, this is not how Halle Bailey acts in real life. She does not throw innocent girls around or steal their bodies. All right, okay, okay, bye.